Hey, GearHeads, it's Jeff with Gear Report. We're here at Chacho 2020 in the Deadfoot Arms booth, and my good buddy Ted has got some cool new stuff to show you. What's going on, GearHeads? Trey Miller with the Armed Citizen Podcast, and you're watching Gear Report. So, Ted, take it away. Yeah, thank you. Ted with Deadfoot Arms here. Today we're showing the SCW 2.5, two and a half inches off the back. This is our modified cycle system to cycle under this short PDW. This is a brace. It has the tail hook mod three. Familiar with that? Five positions, gets to 12 and a half on the length of pull. Still all within the ATF regulations. Just a button on the side to bring it back down. Very small, tight, compact package you can see there. Now I can show you how the MCS system works is we use dual recoil springs that cycle inside a shortened M16A2 carrier. Those springs cycle inside each other inside the shortened carrier to give us this ability to fire while folded with our folding stock adapters or really short with the 2.5. Another item that we're excited about for the individuals that have proprietary BCGs or just like to run their standard length stuff is the SCW4. Now this is, you can call it four because it's about four inches off the back of the receiver. It's actually 3.9. Uses the same dual recoil springs, but in size a full size carrier. So you don't right. need that proprietary carrier. Nice. Still same bar, still runs the gearhead works. Mod three for the pistol brace version. And we also have a stock version for the guys that are running SBRs, running a 16 nice. inch length. Both small packages, actually the two shortest PDW style stocks for the AR-15. Right. Awesome. So for the original MCS, we got a couple videos. You want to go see how it's put together, comes apart, all of that? Go check it out on the Gear Report YouTube channel because that stayed the same and you've really kind of stepped up to address what, I don't want to say people cried about, but you know, there were some people who had some concerns about using a proprietary bolt. Now you've addressed that and have an option. Um, it's good stuff. I've been a fan since you came out, so um, I like it. Can you talk a little bit about this? Uh, this is yours as well, right? The, yes. The, yeah. whole, um, the whole. So we know Gearhead part. works worked with you on the actual tail hook part, but the extension here. Yep. So the the receiver extension, short buffer tube design, that's all us. The collar just and the collar's us as well. Just changed so we could add this PDW style instead yep. of the folders with the left and right side folding. Uh, we did a single side bar. Now this yep. still gives you a nice cheek weld, right? But also the ability to run it on standard forward assist doesn't get in the way of the ejection. But right. Not the two bar design that's a little bit lower. Yeah, still gives you a nice. I think that's the little bit of innovation that you came out with that kind of gets overlooked a little sometimes. Yep. So, yeah, good stuff. Looks awesome. I think you guys are doing good work. Uh, we're gonna get a hold of. Uh, I'm not sure. We're gonna talk about what. We'll put something together and show you some of the new things soon. So stick with us and we'll see you at the range. Absolutely. Thank you. Cool, man. Yeah, and we'll do a, what we'll do is I'll include both buffer tubes. Everything okay. else is the same. Ah. Uh, and so, and then we'll have the shortened right. BCG so, for the 2.5 and then ooh, I'm sure you got I a got BCG you. laying sure. around yeah. that you could use for the four inch version. Yeah, that's awesome. Because everything else is the same. Nice. Thank you.